You know, as a scientist, your thoughts are consumed with getting the most out of your data, driving it forward, making new and important, impactful findings. And so you want to be on the lookout for new technologies, new techniques in order to increase your efficiency and make the data that you have mean more and go further. Carl Zeiss was founded over 175 years ago in a town called Jena in Germany. Started making microscopes in a workshop and then upon his passing, the company ended up turning into a foundation and it serves with a vision or a purpose of supporting and progressing science. The virtue that we are a foundation-owned company means that we don't have shareholders, which allows us the freedom to invest a higher percentage of our um, profit back into R&D. We feel that's important because we want to ensure, you know, if our main mission is to support and to help advance science in whatever avenue of science or whatever field of science, being able to put more money and more uh, resources into innovation. It's about us enabling researchers to tell their story about their, their breakthrough they just had and how they got there. We will do this by um, or further that commitment and further that, uh, that presence in the market by partnering, being in situ, if you will, with uh, leading research institutions like Max Planck and Scripps. So Zeiss has started a new initiative where they are bringing the hardware and software to the scientists and we want to work closely with them and be kind of right there online as they're doing their experiments and what that allows us to do is get feedback really quickly and so we're going to take that feedback and we'll make modifications to our hardware, our software, make little tweaks that make their life easier, what they would do if. And we take those ifs and we turn them into actuality and enable that type of science. And what we hope to, to gain from this is gain inspiration by hearing their dreams and then inspire in return to have them go further with their, with their goals than they even thought possible. By using my word as a cue, they suggested many fun stuff. Why don't you try this? How about that? That was a very brand new experience for me. And then I could expand my imagination or my dream more with working with these people. In this time that the neuroscience is really expanding, it's really important to keep up to date on the latest technology. One of the ways that this is can be done is if you're immersed in a culture where people are constantly discussing the, the new technologies in science. I think having this Zeiss collaboration here will allow us to he leap over some hurdles that would normally trip us up and let us focus on the discovery of neuroscience. I wanted to study social memory and how we make and maintain these memories in the brain. In order to do that, we need to image deep in the brain while animals are making decisions. And so as a collaboration while I was at Max Planck with Zeiss, we started to look at how we can image through these lenses and correct for some of the distortions and also do this in multicolor um, to go back to getting more data from each experiment. Before it had only really been done, you know, two colors so you could see two different cell types. And in our case, we wanted to image 10 different colors. We were actually able to succeed in this task. We got to the 10 colors. We have started imaging in moving animals. We're looking at how they're maintaining and making these memories. And we're linking neural activity to the social process and figuring out how cells encode social cues. And in my lab, I study autism and schizophrenia. These are disorders of brain circuit functions. What I do in my lab is use a combination of electrophysiology, imaging, and optogenetics, and behavioral studies to try to understand how the circuits go awry in these disorders. And what, in terms of what I would like to gain from this is to find a certain class of synapses or type of neuron that would be amenable to a therapeutic treatment for these disorders. 
Some other applications that this technique is really exciting for and would be really great to do are things like brain cancer, glioblastomas. This could be used in drug addiction studies, anxiety and depression. The list really goes on and on. Our plan is to partner with research institutions like Max Planck to not only make available to them uh, microscopy, the hardware, the image acquisition, but also work with researchers directly on the development of artificial intelligence machine learning models that help translate the images that they acquire into actionable data. And that way, if we collect a lot of different data sets from people with similar intentions, we can make this AI model stronger and more robust. And what we're going to do in our solutions lab is wrap all of that software up together in order to disseminate it to other labs and other groups so that they can use it and benefit from, from what we've done. With the success of the Max Planck and Zeiss partnership, we decided to move forward with a solution center that's right on campus and it will continue to drive this collaboration and techniques with Max Planck and the neuroscience field forward. So we're really excited about how well this worked. And so we're starting to do this with other institutes and other universities where we create partnerships and solution centers. Just by virtue of the fact that you have the people that are developing the technology in the same setting as the scientists that are addressing the question and say, hey, do you have a solution for this? Or they can, even without me asking, may come over and say, hey, I know another application that uses similar logic, so we can help you bring that analysis to this pipeline. The collaboration brings us lots of new ideas and then new discoveries. That kind of interaction is really necessary to step forward. We are expanding. So in addition to neuroscience, we'll focus on cell biology and cancer in order to drive techniques in those fields as well. I'm really excited to amplify the voices of scientists and the technology and get that out so more people can use them.